what's happening guys? Low life. Hi guys, it's Tony from Yanomise and today we have this TTRS R. That is it behind me. You can speak to a guy called Neil, he's gonna tell you more about it, but for now, check my account, it's what I see. Well, we've got the wheels on, we're all right. This is one of 50 vehicles to be produced around the world and one of two or three we'll be doing here in the UK. It's a full carbon pack, these carbon elements, carbon lower diffuser. This is at the half fit stage, so there's more carbon coming. This will all be covered in carbon. There's also some extended lower spoilers going on. This vehicle's actually fitted with ceramic brakes and the customer wanted to, to basically a murdered outlook. So we've taken these brakes off, sent them to the guys at Motion Factory and we've gone for a satin black finish. We've actually got some extremely special ERF forged wheels in the 19 inch ready to go on back at base. Currently the interior's away in Germany so the seats are being completely refinished. All TTRSR tend to have red logos. This customer's gone for a fuchsia, so it's one of only one in the world with this fuchsia finish to match the company colors. The original rear wing has been completely removed. We've actually added some mounting points within here. Uh, as a customer request, they've asked for a, an R8 GTR wing, so a great big uh, race looking wing. The idea is we're trying to create an image similar to the TT Cup cars, much of a sort of a DTM type look. So the, the big carbon wing will be sitting at this sort of height once we're finished. So we've got the big quad abt exhaust, something like a good 100 mil tailpipes there. And some of the rear carbon work is in place because of the detail which will be added to this. So one question a lot of people ask, how much power does the TT RSR have? This car is standard, it's a 400 horsepower machine, 2.5 five cylinder turbo Audi unit. As you can see here by the abt power S, logo it's the, the the highest grade of apt performance upgrade we do so we're actually taking this to 500 horsepower this is the apt engine controller which uh, runs the new software this is the original software on the original ecu as the vehicle comes up to temperature we'll then be running off this abt aec as part of the power s package which is available as the ttrsr we've also got an uprated front mounted intercooler that's already in the vehicle and also a non-resonated exhaust system to obviously become free of flowing. the TTRSR is in. First thing, Nikon Mark are wrapping it in chrome gold. So we can get to see this car in all chrome gold in its element. And then Vasily's adding some crocodile skin, funky logos. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna be interesting whether you look like it or not. Comment down below, I'm dreading. Over in here that gonna go in the middle. The customer doesn't want the joint in the middle, so we have to put it somewhere that you can't see it. So the TTRS is almost complete, it's almost fully wrapped in gold and then it's time for the crocodile skin top. So stage one with the chrome gold Audi TTR is complete. Nico Mark have now completed that. Next up is Vasily. Vasily's already laid the first panel. It's like a crocodile. This car's gonna look crazy. So you've got the chrome gold, you're gonna have the crocodile, you're gonna have some branding on it. 
Some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it. I like the gold, I like the crock, both together. Let's see. A moment of truth. We've gone with the croc over the gold chrome already, which has worked out absolutely fine, but if this is the first panel with a lay that's been cut with the company logo, so I'm a little bit worried about the logo sort of pulling around and so on and so forth. But I've got full faith in Vass. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll get it done. Um, but yeah, a little bit nerve wracking. Once it's down, I'll be happy. This was kind of a hard thing to lay just because it needs to be perfect straight everywhere. And it looks amazing. This is the first panel we'll actually lay with, uh, with a cut on logo. It looks very good. A lot of maths involved with this, a lot of dimensions, measurements. Well, that's what it's spot on. I spent around like 40 minutes trying to measure the bonnet, put it perfect in place. It was a bit of a headache to put everything back together in place. The bonnet has got a bend, so it's not flat. That doesn't help. But everything is checked now, is in place, and uh, yeah, we're gonna lay it next. See how it goes. Um, as you can see, we've stripped the bonnet. The reason for it is I've sent images to my client with regards to how it was all finished, and we weren't happy with the way the seam lines come through the crop skin. So we are redoing it with permission from the customer, um, so he's happy for us to do that as well. So we've got new crock, cut it all again, getting it back onto the car. We're just making everything else seamless, getting ready to get the crock on there and this is the man that's going to be laying it so it's all down to him yeah right, mate thank you we're gonna crack on with this all good happy day So there it is complete, the Audi TT RS R. We originally wrapped this in chrome gold, then we put the snake skin all over it, then we put the logos, and then it got sent away for the full body kit. It's got a monster spoiler, it's got carbon everywhere. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Some of you are gonna love the spoiler, a lot of you are gonna hate it. Anyway, that is the Audi TT RS. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'll see you soon.